Hi, welcome to this tutorial on combining functions. Now, in order to illustrate what I mean by combining functions, I've got two functions here, f of x equals 2x and g of x equals x plus 1. What I want to do is just run over a couple of numerical examples just to show you what this is all about. So, for instance, suppose I had f of 3. In other words, x is 3 and I'm putting it into this function here. What I would get would be 2 times 3. In other words, that's going to equal 6. Now, if I pass 6 into g of x, that is, let x equal the 6, what I'm going to have is therefore g of 6 is going to be 6 add 1 and that clearly is going to be 7. So what I've got is I passed in 3 and I got 7 out when I combined the two functions. Let's try another one. Suppose I took a negative number, say x was minus 5 and I passed it into f f of minus 5 would therefore be 2 times minus 5, which we know is minus 10. Now if I pass minus 10 into g, g of minus 10 would be minus 10 add 1. And that's clearly going to be minus 9. So what have we been doing? I've taken an x value, passed it into f, worked out f of x, and then I passed this value into the function g and got g of f of x. So x went in and I got out g f of x. So in other words, when I took 3, I got 7 out when I combine the two functions. And similarly, when I put minus 5 in, I got out minus 9. Now, this is all very well with numeric values, but what I want to do is create this general function, g of f of x. And this is called combining functions. So how do we do it? Well, if we take g of f of x, what we get is g of whatever f of x was, and f of x was 2x. And then we replace any x in g of x with the 2x. So that means that this x now becomes this value here, 2x. So we get 2x and then plus the 1. And you can see that this works. Look, if we t check it out with this one here, let's say we look at g of f of 3. Then, according to this, we substitute x as 3. We get 2 times 3 plus 1 equals 7. Brilliant. That works. And we'll check it for the other one. g of f of negative 5. According to the formula here, it will be 2 times our x value, 2 times minus 5, plus the 1. In other words, minus 10 plus 1, which is minus 9. And that's what we've got here. So, g of f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. And this is called combining functions. Now we'll say at this point that there's different notations for asking this type of question. You will find in textbooks and on exam papers that the same question will be asked as find gf of x. We seem to 
drop the brackets in between. You'll also notice that you'll get just GF. Find GF. And you'll also find that sometimes you'll get G with a little circle. G combined with, as we say. G combined with F. So all of these different versions mean exactly the same as what we've just done here. Finding G of F of X. Now what I'd like to do is show you a few more examples on this. Now in this example I've got f of x equals 3x minus 1 and g of x equals x squared plus 1. We've got to find in part 1 fg of x and in part 2 gf of x. So to do part 1 then we've got fg of x equals. So I've got to do f of g of x. Now g of x is x squared plus 1, so just write that in there, x squared plus 1. And now, wherever I see an x in f of x, I've got to replace it with x squared plus 1. So there's my x, and I need to replace that with x squared plus 1. So I have three lots of x squared plus 1, and then minus 1. And if I expand the bracket, I get 3x squared, and then 3 times 1 is 3, take away 1 is plus 2. And in part 2, what have we got here? We've got to find gf of x, so gf of x is equal to, well it's going to be g of f of x. f of x is 3x minus 1, so pop that in there. And now, wherever we see an x in g of x, we've got to replace it with 3x minus 1. So we're going to have 3x minus 1 all squared and then plus 1. So it'd be 3x minus 1 all squared plus 1. And if I expand the bracket, we've got 3x all squared, which is 9x squared and then we would have minus 3x minus another 3x which is minus 6x and then minus 1 all squared is plus 1 and plus that one there is plus 2. So just to show you what we've done okay to show you that it works if I just come down here for part 1 we've taken a value x we then pass that value of x into g of x and then we passed that value that comes out of g of x back into f of x so we did f of g of x so for instance if we had the number 2 x was 2 and we passed it into the function g of x g of 2 would be 2 squared which is 4 plus 1 is 5. So 2 would have passed through g of x and come out as 5. And then I would pass 5 into f of x. f of 5 would have been 3 times 5 is 15. Minus 1 is 14. So we would have caught 14 out. So let's just check. So if we pass 2 into fg of x we would have fg of 2 would equal 3 times 2 squared, 3 times 2 squared, plus 2. So 2 squared is 4, 3 fours are 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. And so you can see it works. And I'll leave you to prove that this one works for g f of x. OK, well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial and I hope that you've been able to follow the examples and should now be able to combine functions.